What's going on guys, welcome back to a new video, Zeb Monopoly. This is one of those videos that you put the thumbs up, add it to your favorite, you know, smash the like button, or even download the video if you have to so you can view it again. So we're going to go through a little tutorial in a few minutes, but let's just talk for a few seconds. Majority of you guys will basically go through the stock market, clueless, at one stage, and then you go and educate yourself on YouTube, and you come across the first YouTube videos out there. The first YouTube videos will tell you about charts, candlesticks, and they look all fancy and colorful and technical indicators, and people use jargons and definitions, and that's you saying to yourself, yeah, they know what they're talking about. This is the exact way of making money in the stock market. It's not, because you'll notice when you start trading, 95% of traders lose, and you're one of them. So, the reason behind that is, well, you don't have an edge over the market. The market has an edge over you. The market has an edge over you because you're just gambling and guessing. If you think you can read charts, you don't. You don't know how to read charts, right? You don't know how to. Yes, you can buy the dip, but over time, you'll find out it's not consistent. Yes, you make money here and there, but it's not consistent. Just focus. Just let me finish with this video tutorial, and then you can make a decision whether you're going to disagree with me, put the thumbs down. This is the hedge fund way of trading, by the way. If any hedge fund trader out there disagrees with what I have to say, let me know, and I'll delete this whole YouTube channel and also embarrass myself on YouTube. You pick which way you want me to embarrass myself, I'll do it. So, let's jump on the computer, guys, and let's go through the tutorial. Now, these are stocks that I've gave you, and most of you know how to trade these because I've given you previous tutorials. If you're new, look in the description. There's tutorials for you guys. Uh, but yeah, this is one of its kind, guys. So let's go through the first thing. How can we trade these stocks in the beginning? So obviously, guys, the stock market doesn't owe us anything. It doesn't know we exist, and it's volatile. So with stocks, let's have a look at this little paint kind of um, drawing. So a stock has to move because of a reason. Correct? The stock has to move because of a stock reason or something that's going on in the market. So if we look at candlesticks and charts, you don't know why the stock is moving. Correct? So in this case, let's simplify it. We need something that will move the stock higher or lower. What is this thing exactly? Well, that could be a positive catalyst or a negative catalyst. What does that mean? That means we need news, right? Fundamentals, you can say. In this case, we focus on fundamentals. Yes, we focus on fundamentals for, for day trading. Also, not just for swing trading. But we need something that will influence the stock to shoot up by 5 to 10% on a regular basis. Because as a day trader, I need those large spikes. Right? So, earnings reports, negative news, FDA approvals, negative data. That's for penny stocks, by the way, FDA approvals. Because I've taught you all of this so far on this channel. So if a positive news comes out or a positive catalyst, a catalyst is just something that will shoot up a stock higher or lower, this is the trend for the stock. Now, you can use candlesticks and charts to support your decision here of when to get in and how the reversal is going to happen. There's multiple ways of trading this. So we need volume. That's the whole conclusion of this. Stock B, for example, comes out with negative catalyst. That's a bad news or something that influences the stock to shoot down on value. You will notice the stock shooting down on value like this, right? So you can use your charts or whatever you have learned over the years from other YouTubers and whatnot and back up your decision here and how to trade them. So one of those was TYME. TYME Technologies, that's a penny stock. Another one was called RNN, which I made a video about already. It's STI, SunTrust. Now, all of these three stocks, by the way, you can say I predicted on January 19th. This is where I give my alerts to my people. Um, January 19th, I said... STI, you know, will release on the 18th. By the way, look at all these stocks and let me know how much they moved by, right? Just so you know we're not bullshitting here. STI moved on the 18th of uh, January, and we can predict these dates. You know why? Because this is earner reports. This is how I trade these. That's me finding half of my edge already, right? I know the reason why these stocks will move in value. All I have to do is perfect it and find a pattern and perfect that pattern that comes up time and time again. With penny stocks, I said RNN the 17th and the 19th also. TYME, January not 18th. Now, if we look here, guys, all right, if we look here at TYME, we knew the exact date it will shoot up or down on value. Why? Well, because we had something called negative catalysts or an FDA approval or a negative data. We knew the exact date. For those of you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, go look at my tutorials on YouTube. I will explain it to you, and if not, there is a course for that also, um, just like any other person on YouTube. Um, today, guys, we're going to look at TYME. TYME came out with negative news. It's dropped in value 
from $3.75 and dropped to $2. Now I bought the stock at $2.10, so I played the reversal. Now I don't focus on candlesticks, I just knew I just knew this stock was oversold. So it dropped, I bought it back and I sold it, took my 10-20% um, or 10% return and I got out of the market. Right? Majority of you guys will, will start guessing, oh this stock is going to do this. But yeah, you can guess, you can play the reversals if you want based on candlesticks. But I, I, if I know the behavior, I don't need to you know, worry about candlesticks. I just know the behavior of these patterns or these stocks. Most of you guys will start guessing here, oh, the stock is going in value up or down. Uh, but you buy here, it doesn't actually go up or down. You know why? Because you're not you know, playing the fundamentals, you're just playing the trend. And you'll end up losing money or not making any money. And you end up selling because you didn't make money today. So what happens is you get cut out with your commission and that's it. You lose money anyway because you bought the stock, it didn't go up or down in value and or shorted the stock and you're there losing money. So another one called RNN, guys. This one was bought on, on, on good news. So obviously when good news happens, what happens to that stock? It shoots up in value, right? Um, that's positive. So... The good news was here, that was an analyst upgrade. The analyst upgrade came out, the stock shot up and reversed. Because after every spike, there has to be a pullback. A stock that goes up has to come back down. Remember that. STI is similarly, SunTrust. Now, I want to go through screenshots from one of you guys that had their first profitable week after a year of, of, of trading. So, the thing is, this stock came out with positive earner report on the 18th. Look at the date, guys, the 18th. If we go back here, it's the 18th, right? That's what I gave, the 18th. Um, here we go. The 18th is STI. And the reason why we can predict them, well, because look at my tutorials, guys. On In the description, there's going to be tutorials, free tutorials, so you don't have to pay anything. These are old, old videos that I made. Um, and you'll see it spiking, and then pull them back, okay? Like I said, after every spike, there has to be a pullback. Now, yes, you can play the candlesticks and say this is going to happen, but we already know the pattern, so you can use your technical analysis uh, skills and base it on fundamental or whatever this is. Uh, and that's the way you become consistent, is you learning a pattern and perfecting that pattern time and time again. We don't guess on this channel, guys. We never guess. All we do is trade, because that's the way to trade and that's the way hedge funds trade. So let's go back again and have a look here. Um, so... A positive news came out, which is here, that's the positive news, the stock shot up on value from $58 to $61.52, so that is $3 difference, guys, or $2.50, that's the, that's the kind of moves we need, that's 4% spike, that's what we need in a stock, but if you're going to day trade when there's no volume and you just want to guess candlesticks and you go in with 1% return or fit, not even 1%, but half a percentage return, Mark my word, you will get stomped out and you'll never be profitable with trading. So, here is, guys, a trend called positive and here is a trend called negative. Now, there's going to be patterns here and that's how you find your edge and become consistent and profitable all of the long term is through a pattern that you'll figure out time after time, to be honest. It doesn't take much, but if you want to know some patterns or if you want to be adventurous, because I gave those patterns before, all right? These patterns can also be found on my course, um, in my course, and the whole kind of setup will be taught. Now, yes, I might be selling courses here, but that's just, you don't need my course. Just have a look at the free content, or you can go and be adventurous and look for that free patterns that I've gave you that come time and time again on my channel. So, that is the way, guys, we trade these stocks. Now, today you will realize I've given few stocks also, uh, but look at these stocks, guys, for last week, and let me know if they moved up in value or down in value, and let me know what you what you think. Are we bullshitting or not? Is this finding your edge? Can this help you find your edge quicker than technical charts and indicators? Absolutely. Now, let me go through a little screenshot here. Now, this guy, guys, he goes, I have attached my paper trade performance since I've applied your strategy. Please have time to see it. I've never seen such positive performance since I was learning only when I applied your teachings. He was learning for a year. There's a continuation on to this, to this email. Now, look at his kind of trades, guys, for this week, right? Look at his trades. SunTrust Bank, he traded the same stocks. SunTrust, $90, or you can say 100 in this case, or $200, 39 40 106 236 But also, that's why many of us not be, don't become successful is because we have these large, large losses. So we need to minimize these losses, guys, in order to be profitable and consistent. Now... That is you finding your edge over the long term, and you need to really get on top, guys. Re really get on top of this. Learn, learn, keep educating yourself. 
don't be too, I guess, naive in looking at just charts and technical indicators because, mark my word, you will never find your edge because at this stage you're just gambling. That is called gambling at its finest, right? Now, all of this, guys, is free content. Look at my tutorials. There's free content. Whatever it is, it's free content. So don't think for one minute I'm here to sell you a course. Do not buy my course if you don't know what we do. Do not buy my course if you haven't practiced and found that you can actually make money using the strategy. It's a free strategy. Every It's not even a strategy, but it's just a guideline. And then you can perfect the strategy around this actual strategy. This is my edge. I found it. Majority of you guys need to find your edge, but just remember this is the hedge fund way of trading They will always trade the trade the bread and butter, which is this this is the bread and butter and every single person can understand this right 